everybody, this is Sammy Girl here, and this is video two of Sammy Girl. Um, today, I'm going to show you guys a recipe, and I'm going to show you guys how to make a winter acai berry bowl, or acai. -y. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. Basically, an acai berry bowl is, the best way I can describe it, is it's like a smoothie in a bowl, and then it's topped with lots of oats and or muesli and then some yummy fruit on top. And if you guys check out my Instagram, you will know that I'm quite fond of the acai berry bowl. And so I have got for you guys a winter version. And it is winter because it is actually going to go in the oven before you eat it. So it's going to have like a crumble kind of topping. And the other little twist that I have is that it's not actually going to have a side in it. So it's really a winter acai berry bowl. So it's going to have blueberries. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is this is all the ingredients here. And let's get started. So you are going to need a food processor. So this is a part of my food processor. I can't actually plug it in out here. So I'm just going to put all the ingredients in for you guys and then I'm going to blend it up somewhere else and then we're gonna just you guys will get it so the first thing we're gonna add to the food processor is half a cup of rolled oats we're gonna add them in like that awesome oh and I'll also add make sure that you preheat your oven at about this point to 180 degrees yep that is important Okay, then we are going to add, now I've got my recipe here, so I'm just checking. We're going to add a third cup of desiccated coconut. Gonna add that, all this good stuff going in. So we're going to add that to our food processor. Then we are going to add a handful of almonds, so just a handful I've just put them in bags for convenience, really. But you add them almonds in. Okay. And then I'm going to add some coconut oil. And we're going to add about two tablespoons of this. So I'm going to get it out of here. And coconut oil is a bit hard to get out. It's actually firm, so it's not like, um, well it is a liquid oil as well, but it can be firm. So we're going to add approximately two tablespoons of coconut oil. There, and oops, you will realise that I'm a bit of a messy cook and I tend to clean up at the very end. So another one, and maybe a little bit more. So I think, I'm pretty sure that's approximately two tablespoons. Okay, so we've got our coconut oil in there. Then, we are going to add one teaspoon of vanilla paste, but you can also add vanilla essence if you want, but vanilla paste is just a little bit more natural. So, if I can open this, we go. We're going to add one teaspoon. Yes, uh, one teaspoon of vanilla paste into our mixture. Uh, it's really sticky. Sprinkle my next it's easier. It's going to add approximately one teaspoon of cinnamon. And last but not least, I'm going to add a little bit of honey. So, I'm going to add just about 
one teaspoon, but it really doesn't matter. Just for sweetness, and you can always add honey at the end as well, which we're going to do anyway. So add our honey. That should do just fine. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we've got everything we need. So I'm going to now blend this in my food processor until it's like kind of like just a crumble kind of mix so I'm gonna go do that and then I'll be back processor and just pulsed it and it's kind of just like a light crumble kind of topping like you would have on an apple crumble and so I've done that now and I'm gonna set that aside and I just wanted to make a point that before when I told you to put the oven on make sure you have a grill put the grill on so not necessarily the oven just put your grill on to 180 because we want that crumble top to crisp up so I'm going to put that aside and now I'm going to do the smoothie part. So always do the smoothie part after you've done the crumble part because it, otherwise the smoothie kind of emulsifies and you want the smoothie to be all nice and creamy and mixed. So, ooh, again I've just got half of the blender. I'm going to blend it inside and then I'll bring it back out here. So first of all you're going to add your almond milk so this is half a cup and you can add more or less depending on if you want the smoothie to be more runny and more creamy or if you want it to be just a little bit more thick put less milk in I like it quite thick so I'm gonna put half a cup although I might even put a quarter cup but I'll see how it's going I'll just put my half a cup in there and then I'm going to put one banana and I like to put as much banana in as you can because that also thickens it up. So put your banana in there like so and then after that you're going to add your frozen blueberries. So if this were an acai berry bowl you would add your acai berry but we are going to do blueberries okay so we're going to add about maybe half a packet of blueberries so i'm going to do that <laughs> i should have put some scissors okay so we're going to add our blueberries in there And 
really the more the merrier. You want a nice thick top. topping up here and underneath is the smoothie. So what you're going to do is you are going to put this in the oven for 10 minutes and make sure the grill is on and just keep a close eye on it because it can burn really quickly. And so we're just going to put it in the oven and then we're going to bring it out and I'm going to put all the toppings on and that is the best part. So I'll be right back. 